brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah, this hayat, this life is a ni'ma of Allah, a great opportunity for us to create so much good deed so we can go to Allah with very good amount of good deed so we secure our salvation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from hellfire and we secure Jannah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This life every day and every night is important. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminded us in the Quran that he has who Allah the Jala Layla and Nahara Hell Fatal Liman Arada and Yad Zakar Aw Arada Shukura. So he created this day and night concept. Who will take opportunity of the day and night to you know to 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 think, to reflect, to plan, to take lesson and to be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once this life is coming to end, all opportunity is gone. We are praying Janaza of six people today. If we had any chance to ask them, what you regret for today, they'll be telling not, oh, I was planning to build my house, I could not complete it. None will be saying that. They will be only regretting, subhanallah, Allah has given me life span of 40, 50, 60, 80 years, but I did not utilize it. I did not properly use it. I did not do enough which will secure me salvation today from the punishment of Allah. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all of our mayatim today. But we need to learn from them. Every death is a lesson for us. We need to learn that I am going to Allah one day, coming to end of my life, what I am going to take with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And today we'd like to talk about this winter holiday and also the winter itself. Winter itself, uh, when uh, winter is to come, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is to remind the Sahaba a good opportunity in winter. He said, As-sawmu fi shita al ghanimatul barida. O Muslim, uh, the fasting in the winter time is a cold booty. What does it mean? That you can easily fast. You'll be not that much thirsty like summer. And here, in, in our area, mashallah, in this part of the world, it is very smaller day, mashallah. So we can fast. One day fasting, you know the hadith, making Jahannam 70 years distant, away from us. One day fasting, making Jahannam 70 years away from us. And beautiful sunnah. Every Monday and Thursday he used to fast. Middle of the month, 13, 14, and 15. White days, ayyamu bid. So this is a good opportunity of fasting in the winter and also tahajjud, at night prayer, night vigil. We can't pray all the year, in the, in the summer especially, short night, we complain. But subhanAllah, it is long night. In the winter, we wake up and try to pray tahajjud. If we don't pray in winter, when we'll be praying tahajjud? May Allah give us tawfiq. And winter also a lesson for us that we use so much our warm clothes when you go out. Make sure if you go out and there is no enough cloth, we regret. We feel pain of the cold. But in Jahannam, there will be two kinds of punishment in hellfire. One is the heat, the hellfire, the burning blaze. And also there will be another type of punishment in Jahannam is Zamharil. Extreme cold, severe cold, much cooler than anywhere in the world at the highest degree or the lowest degree it reaches in time of temperature. You can compare the dunya kind of cold with the Zamharir of Jahannam. So if we are so concerned of you know, taking care of ourselves to save from the cold of the dunya, what about to save ourselves from the cold punishment of Akhirah. So we need to uh, make ourselves uh, aware of the valuable time in the winter, this opportunity Allah is giving to us. And next point, to learn from the winter, that mashallah, we have our heating system working, hot water, how, mashallah, how many jackets we have, 
I know some of you may not say how many jackets you have. You forgot. How many, the number wise, altogether. So remember in this cold winter, your brothers and sisters in Rohingya, refugee camps, Syrian brothers, sisters. In Yemen, the children, in, there is cold there as well. So how much we give to them? We show our sympathy to them. Any time comes the appeal, we need to give, we need to give. That will help us that we are saved from the hellfire of Jahannam and the cold punishment of Jahannam. Now coming to the winter holidays. The holiday period is a, a, a good time, again, to have our family ties is strengthened and we are together. This is an opportunity, but some of the parents may complain, SubhanAllah, I don't know what to do with my children. There will be a you know, terrible situation at home, just troubling us. We are in peace when they go to school, in the school day. You leave your children to the school, and you are, you are having peace. If it is the case, then it is not a good news. A school will not make them a good human being. Still, the parents have the responsibility. The house is the main uh, institution for them. The parents are the, are the main teachers and responsible to bring their children up according to Islam, to be, make them a good you know, person, to make them good citizen, to good, good, make them good worshiper of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they don't know what to do. They will be very bored at home, I know. They will complain. I don't know what to do, I'm bored. So give them so much, uh, you know, time in internet to uh, spend time or watching TV, all social media. So this spare time is a ni'mah for themselves, for us. In hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu said, ni'mah tani maqbulun fihima kathiru minan nas. Two of the bounties of Allah, gift of Allah, favor of Allah, many people are, you know, confused, are cheated. One is a sihha wal faragh, good health and spare time. They don't know how to utilize it. The time, every hour of your life is very important. Al Hassan al Basri rahmatullah remind us. Innama anta ayyam, kullama dhahaba yawmun, mada ba'aduka. You are nothing except the, you know, uh, you know, the days. How many thousand of the days is your life span? Every day is part of yourself. If one day goes, you are losing part of yourself. How much you did, utilize this part of your, your life. So the, for us and for our children. For our children, as hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, kullukum ra'ina wa kullukum mas'ulun an ra'iyatihi. All of you are shepherd, responsible. You'll be answerable to Allah about your responsibility, how much you take care of it, them. So he also said every human baby is born with fitra of the purity of the nature. You have to keep it. If not, the parents have the responsibility. They will make them in a sarani hiawe, Parents will make sure how they are shaped, which direction they are going, what religion they are choosing. Is it, is it a good Muslim or it is a, a, a bad one? That all depend upon the parents. So we cannot leave them. They are going to the school only getting their formal educational qualification, but to build them, their character, their personality, their deen, all upon us. We can't leave them in this holiday, watching TV whole day and playing and all the games in the internet, and we are having some kind of peace because they are busy with their game, this is a wrong idea. We need to give physically time to them. We need to uh, you know, focus the time for them. We need to make our house a house of Islam, house of a Muslim, and house of the one who is not a Muslim. There is a big difference. In the house of a Muslim, there is exercise of prayer, Islamic knowledge, recitation of Quran, dhikr, morning dhikr, evening dhikr, before going to the bed, 
going before going house, uh, entering from entering to house, going out of house. Every time they do dua, they themselves say they teach their children. All these we need to secure. So uh, this practice of deen from year seven, when they are reaching in the in their age of seven years old, we must make them they are started praying from year ten. We should make sure they are not missing any salah. So any house, مثل البيت الذي يذكر الله فيه والبيت الذي لا يذكر الله فيه مثل الحي والميت. Any house where zikr of Allah is done and where zikr of Allah is not done, example is dead or a house which is alive. So if it is a house where there is no salah, no Quran, no zikr, it is a haunted house. It is house. Shaitan has taken place in that house. So we need to uh, be very careful that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we complain about our children. They are very naughty. They don't listen to us. They don't respect us. They don't respect the school complaining. They don't respect the teachers. They do bullying in the school. If it is happening, whom you are complaining to? Allah will ask us, have you done your job towards them? Before you are complaining about them that they did not respect you? So this, all this is upon us. We have to have a plan. Don't leave them. They hang around outside your house. المرو على دين خليله فلينظر أحدكم من يخالف وفي رواية من يخالف so everybody will be following دين of his friends his peer group those who are who is hanging around if they are good one they'll be learning the good things in their life but if they hang around with the bad one they'll be learning many bad practices if you go to the you know hang around in the street in the after you know at night in the beginning of the night he said, the young people are hanging around. In one of the hand, there are some kind of chips and uh, fried chicken. Our other one is carrying some kind of Pepsi or Coke. And there is a mobile phone. And all this in, in a gang, they are hanging around. And the drug dealers are targeting them. Because these kids needed money. So they'll offer them money to sell drugs on behalf of them. And by this, many of the innocent boys are gone to the drug dealing and in this kind of network. And they become, in the end, part of the gang. And they fight, knife crime, anti-social behavior, problem at home, problem at outside, problem for the community, problem for the nation. All this is happening. All this. Our, if it, these are our children, we need to be doing something very serious. So concluding, my dear brothers and sisters, please plan. What is your plan this holiday? Some of them will be, maybe, will be going to uh, Umrah. Others, everybody cannot go. So we need to plan as much as possible, taking holiday for ourselves, giving time to them, sitting in the morning, in the evening, eating together, talking, this kind of creating the relationship, family bond, strengthen, and sometimes learning together. All this should be a Muslim house in this family day. Don't live for the TV and social media, and we will be in the end suffering in this dunya and akhirah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq.